All right, so today's video I'm going to be showing you a setting in VLDB settings that you can use to um, change the column pattern uh, that MicroStrategy will use when it's generating the SQL. Um, but first, let's show you the before and then we'll show you the after so you can see the effect that this VLDB settings has on the SQL that's generated in MicroStrategy. So I have a simple report here and we'll just go ahead and run this. It's just selecting all the dates from our date dimension table. That's all it's doing. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the SQL. As you can imagine, it's going to be very simple. All right, so here's the SQL here. You can see it's just selecting the date from our date dimension table. That's it. And as you can see, there are, there's nothing. It's just purely selecting the field. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say, let's suppose we had a database that required you to add quotes around the field. Okay, how would you do that? How would you tell MicroStrategy to do that? Because it's not going to necessarily do that natively, right? So let's go ahead and change that setting. So I'll close this. Select no. So we'll go and we'll we'll right click, go into our project configuration, come down to our database instances, and then we'll select our whatever database connection that we want. Then we'll choose VLDB properties. Now for this, you're going to have to go ahead and make sure show advanced settings is enabled. So you go Tools, Show Advanced Settings, make sure that's checked. You're going to need that. Um, and then you expand Tables down here, Column Pattern. We're going to uncheck the default inherited value. And then what we're going to do is, here is we are going to, around this uh, pound 1, right? That, that replaces the column. So pound 0 would be like the table alias, and pound 1 would actually be the column name. Um, so that's, that's the column pattern. So we're going to add quotes around this. So we'll, Add quotes, okay, and then we'll save and close that. And just telling you, you need to restart the intelligence server for the changes to take effect, but we actually don't have to. Uh, I'm just going to unload and load the project again, and that should um, do it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now to reload our project here, I've opened Command Manager, and I'm just going to type unload project, and I'll put the project name in quotes, so it's ADV works DW and end it with a semicolon and then to load it I'll just do load project and then we'll just copy and paste this end it with a semicolon click the lightning bolt to run it and our project will unload and then be reloaded and then our, our settings should take effect alright so now that's done now let's go back to our project let's disconnect and reconnect Okay, so now let's rerun our report, and let's take a look at the changes. So we'll run that. And now let's go ahead and view the SQL. Scroll down here, and there you can see it. Our column name is now surrounded in quotes. So now we've changed the column pattern in our SQL here. So that's the, that's the, uh, that's the effect that that VLDB setting has. Now you could of course have done anything you want with this. You could have changed that to brackets, anything you want. You know, it really depends on on your use case and really this what kind of database you're using uh, and, and really the situation. But just wanted to show you uh, this setting. All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also check out jamestechtips.com for more BI related content. And thanks for watching.